Welcome again grade 9 students in a new chemistry session in chapter 2 entitled Electron Arrangements in Atoms and the Periodic Table. In this session we will solve together a typical exercise. So bring your chemistry guide, your chemistry notebook and a pen and let's start. Open your chemistry guides on page 43 to solve problem 12. Referring to the section of the periodic table below, answer the following questions. In number 1, we have to classify while justifying the elements given in this section in two groups, metals and non-metals. We know that this third step line helps us in classifying the elements where the elements to the left of the third step line except hydrogen are metals and elements to the right of the third step line are non-metals. So we can say that lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium and aluminum are metals since they are located to the left of the third step line while the elements boron, carbon, nitrogen, fluorine, helium, and hydrogen are non-metals since they are located to the right of the third stop line except hydrogen which is to the left of the third stop line. In part 2, an element X is a conductor of heat and electricity. It's also malleable and ductile. Classify element X in one of the previous groups in question 1 and you have to justify. We know that metals are conductors, malleable and ductile, so element X is a metal since it has the properties of metals. In part 3, give while justifying briefly the name of the element whose atoms possess four energy levels. This is row 1, 2, 3, and 4. The element is potassium. Since an element whose atoms possess four energy levels must be located in row 4, since a row or period is identified by the number of energy levels, thus this element is potassium symbolized by K. Give while justifying a common point and the difference between the electron configuration of lithium and that of sodium. Lithium and sodium belong to column 1 or group 1 in the periodic table, thus both have one electron in their outer energy level. Lithium belongs to row 2 or period 2, thus it has two occupied energy levels. However, sodium is in row 3 or period 3, thus it has three occupied energy levels. Give while justifying the symbol of the element whose outer shell is saturated. We know that the elements whose outer shell are saturated are the elements found in group 8 or column 18 in the periodic table, which are called the noble gases or inert gases. Thus, the symbol of this element is He or helium. In part 4, an element X whose electron configuration is K2, L8, and 4 belongs to the 4th row and column 13 of the periodic table. Indicate whether this statement is true or false and explain why. In the electron configuration K2, L8, and 4, we have three occupied energy levels, thus it belongs to the 3rd row. Also, we have four electrons in the outer energy level, thus it belongs to column 14. Thus, this element is found in this box in the periodic table, column 14 and row 3. This statement is false. Since the row is identified by the number of occupied energy levels, element X has the three occupied energy levels, thus it belongs to the third row. And the column is identified by the number of electrons in the outer energy level. Element X has four electrons in the outer energy level, thus it belongs to column 14. Thanks for listening. And you have to resolve this exercise on your chemistry notebooks.